Hello, I'm Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. For almost two years, people have been asking me if I'd give some sort of introduction or overview of the Festool Compact Modular System with the writer insert. I've managed to get some bits and pieces together so I can make this film. So here we go. Now the starting point for this system is the CMS base unit itself. And this can be used with a variety of tools, uh, like my uh, TS55R, which is behind me. The legs just fold out very simply, like so. And then we tighten the legs. Uh, there are four knobs. Which one? Tightens like so. And the unit is then ready to use. And it's very, very stable. Now, the other aspects of the system are there's the area here where the various system units go. Well, I'll show you the one for the, uh, the writer shortly. And then there's the power side of it, and we have power cord. It goes into your wall socket. There's an on-off switch here. And then there's a power socket on the other side of the on-off switch, uh, which the tool is plugged into. Now, when you buy the CMS OF kit, this is what you get. Now, the main part is the plate to which you'll fix the router. And this slips into the CMS base unit that we've just seen. In order to fix the router onto the plate, there are three clamps here, and they each have threaded uh, knobs here uh, to do that process. Uh, there's a plate that is screwed onto the side of the router, uh, which is used to locate the router uh, on the underside of the main assembly here. I should have mentioned there are instructions, of course, and guarantees and things like that. And there are then three insert rings which go into the, uh, the main plate, and these depend on the writer you have. There's an insert here which fits uh, into the OF2200 writer, which helps with the dust extraction. Then here, uh, we have a series of inserts uh, which allow you to reduce the size of the aperture when you've got various size bits uh, mounted in your writer. And there are six different uh, ones of these. There's a little crank handle, which is used for raising and lowering the height uh, of the cutter in the writer. There's a fence unit. And when you pick this up for the first time, you'll get a very pleasant surprise because this is a pretty heavy bit of kit and it's beautifully made. It really is uh, an absolute triumph. There's a safety guard and push down uh, unit, which is here, which I'll explain later. And then if you're not using the fence, but you're using some uh, a profile or a cutter, which has got um, a ball bearing on it, then you have this uh, cover which fits directly over the cutter area and there's associated with it a little guide fence. We'll see that later. Now you can insert one of three writers from Festool in the CMS OF uh, unit. There's the OF1010 which I don't have, it's the smallest of the three. It's the OF1400 which I have here and the OF2200. And I'm going to be fitting my OF2200 into this unit. Now, according to the writer uh, that you're going to install, there are three inserts, uh, and you choose one of these three according to your writer. There's one for the OF1010, one for the OF1400, and one for the OF2200. So I'm going to set these two uh, to one side, and I'll need this later. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to turn the the OF2200 over, and I'm going to release the green knob here and take away the sub-base, uh, or base runner, as Festool call it. And that's no longer required. Now, again, peculiar to the OF2200 is this little extra, which is to aid the dust collection. There's a little recess in it here, and there's a little uh, square uh, protrusion in the base of the writer here, and when you get these two lined up, uh, you'll find that you can insert it and give it a twist, and that's locked in place. The next thing to do is to plunge the writer fully and lock it off. Then locate this little plate, which is used to help locate the writer itself 
on the underside of the main plate. And if you look at the side here, uh, there's a little place for it to go. Uh, for the OF2200, you have the fatter side here facing downwards. That's six millimeters across. If it were the OF1010, it would be the other way up. And also for the OF1400, it's this way up. So you locate that and then screw that in like so. And that is the writer now fully prepared, ready to be mounted on the underside of the plate. Right, we're now going to prepare the uh, main plate of the CMSOF unit. I'm now going to place it very carefully uh, on the top here. And it's upside down, uh, so therefore this plate part is sticking upwards. And the first thing to do is to find uh, the correct uh, insert piece here. This one is the green one for the OF2200. And you're now going to push this down into the recess in the middle here. And you do that with the part number facing upwards. And there's an, also an extra clue. There's a little lug here and there's a, a little a cutout there and those two need to be lined up. And when it's snugly down, you're ready to then take the router and insert it over the top. Now, uh, with the OF2200, I've got this little locating plate mounted on the side here, and I have to get that such that uh, it fits into a hole nearest to me now. Uh, it varies very slightly with the other writers. We're going to now release the plunge lock and allow the writer to rise upwards so it then is held here uh, by this adjustment part of the CMS OF unit. So that's now there and I'm going to take now the three clamping brackets and the three knobs associated with them and place these, the three positions as indicated in the instructions. One there and the other two are on this side. And one uses these threaded knobs down into the screw threads which are provided and these are the raised ones we're using now. And then once they're all just starting to bite, make sure everything's where it should be and then tighten them up evenly. And then finally click and lock uh, the on button for the writer. Of course, again, making sure nothing is plugged in uh, to your dust extractor or the mains socket. We're now ready to now turn this over. Now, in order to do this, you need to gather up the mains lead very carefully because it's going to be going down through the hole in the center. I'm just moving this round to one side. Now, at this stage, you must make sure uh, that the power cord for the CMS base unit is not plugged in because you don't want to risk uh, anything starting up accidentally. I'm now going to take the plug of the router and I'm going to attach it to the socket which is underneath. So that's done and making sure the cable doesn't get trapped I'm now going to mount it in the plate. Now this goes around this way you need to be very careful not to trap your fingers. And there are two finger holes, one there and one there, which we'll be using uh, now to uh, do the final location. Like so. And now take a screwdriver and there are two locking uh, controls here. Just twist those around to the right until they're locked nice and tight. And now that whole unit is one. And it's all nice and secure. 